Hello, I'm Michi and that's my channel. <laughs> yeah, today we make uh, part three of the series and I have a little bit of a problem with my part three series. Although, <laughs> I will show you. Um, I really love this puzzle. Every time I say one of my favorites ever liking puzzle is this puzzle of Spirit of Flight. Uh, yeah, here it's this. Uh, I was so so frustrated because there's also uh, there's also a signature of an artist. <laughs> And I couldn't read that and I um, was really worried about that I couldn't say how what's the what the artist is but here it stands in clear the things and yeah it's Josephine Wall. I have heard from her and I've seen puzzles from her and always tempting to say mm, yeah maybe I like but I don't like her her expressions of the face anymore so that's one of the one I don't know how to say this but she must be a really long wasting uh, artist because that's a puzzle made in the year 1999 <laughs> and I see this picture on many other brands so that's not a singular Ravensburger thing but I have this in 2000 piece puzzle. Yeah, but I don't have any other Josephine wall, although I always, when I see to the blooper puzzle, <laughs> uh, and I look to the pictures and I scroll and I see, oh, that's a nice one. Oh, that's a nice one. And that there are always Josephine wall. Although I always think, no, the face is not, no, it looks so so sad or so silly or I can't say but I always tend to say then oh that's nice colors but the face uh, and the thing ah uh, no <laughs> and I don't want to buy me many puzzles but Josephine Wall makes I think nice art for puzzles although I have only this one and, and this one is one of my absolute favorite puzzles. Uh, I can't say it otherwise. I have, I believe it's, <laughs> I think it's the third time I have it taken on camera and make a video out of this puzzle course. I always want to show it a second time and do the other thing. And I do it in German also. Um, but this little series will end with uh, my Josephine Wall 2000 piece puzzle Ravensburger and yeah you will see I have make it a little bit but chaos puzzling is always like you get one pieces and then making a section and then getting pieces and sorting out and making this little bit section and it was really a nice build. I really love to do this, but this is the one I swapped and turning upside down because the upper section I have left to the end and it was it would be too difficult to do this leaning over. So I really turned it upside down so that it I think for you I swapped the video but um but it's easier to do this upside down while this uh, upper section is direct in my sight, in my reaching, in my <laughs> working space. And, but <clears throat> yeah, uh, I think that's that's good for the intro. <laughs> so I turn on the puzzle video and we we'll see each other at the end in a short while.
it's always so nice to have uh, this uh, it's always so nice and comfy to have a puzzle that's really like an old friend so it's now 20 years old <laughs> and we have a relationship 20 years and I've puzzled it so many times so it's so recognizable pattern and always remember it a little bit more where the, the butterflies are or how the feathers of the brown bird on the side is and I remember the leafy patterns and that the little fairies are here and there and uh, yeah it's always having a picture in your mind because I never build it with the box. I never look at the box. Uh, so it is recognizable as it's working with your memories and working with the pieces and, and, and the things come together. And it's always the colors are so nice. I think it's, it's really one of the pictures where you have this dark colors and the light colors and the playfulness and the edginess and everything in where you like to fly along with all the creatures and her. It's, <laughs> it's a spirit of light. You can't say it better. That's the that picture got so in motion. It had so much motion in this, but that's the thing. Um, yeah, it's a painting, and you have paint sharks, and you have um, edges where it's not that a line edge, so soft things, so um, things that change to one color with with soft gliding like a, like a gradient but this is the recognition of the yellow color turn in the blue or turning first in green and then turning in the blue or also turning in the orange and you have pieces in your hand and you know that's in the gradient here and there it's really this feeling of these colors and also along with the scarf this along soft lines there is no yeah there is some of them are edgy and you can really see the lines but other things are more soft and and glide to each other and so it has this paint strokes also it's not that it's totally easy to build also the the darker section above with the feathers and the water it's always a little bit of a tricky part because the lines always goes here and there and you never know where but the pieces tell you the story how the lines work and um, you can concentrate on so I think it's I'm concentrating on on the pattern on the colors and I'm always looking at the pieces that have the same or a little bit off and see how how the, the pattern develop and it, that make it uh, a really nice, soft, uh, good feeling experience. It's always nice to do this puzzle. I really love to do this puzzle. I don't know if if it's more or less time, <clears throat> but they have really distinct colors in one section, so you can build a section and go to the next and. Uh, collecting the colors and building the section and go to the next so it's also in this sense a really easy puzzle course you really so can sort the section out and uh, for me in my chaos puzzling style is also not that bad so I turn everything upside down and collect the first this yellow orange and blue section and the, and the feathery friends above in the blue and always making this little pile and um, puzzle the puzzle and then seeing oh I, I've got enough here and I got uh, I need more pieces and then showing through the pieces and collecting the next uh, pile of pieces with this distinct color I want to to do and so the whole pr 
process is more or less going to the pieces and digging up this section and then going to the pieces and digging up the next section and so the pieces or the pieces show it itself where it goes and I think it was a really nice build I really like <clears throat> The softness of everything. <clears throat> I think I might be sip of my coffee. <clears throat> so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then to end the series, I think we see a little bit of um, a comparison. I think I'll insert them now so that you can see the comparison of the cut and the different. Um, years of the puzzle and that it's that you can see now nah. uh, it's too much uh, but it's really this shape is the same like this like this like this like this like this and here up also and here on this um, castle piece the four ends there is also a castle piece, there are two prongs on the other side, so it's it's so funny. They have the same shape pattern, uh, but not the same shapes, so they really don't fit to each other. And I have here a piece here, and that's totally fine to see. <laughs> it's the piece here, but this piece didn't fit at all. <laughs> And vice versa also that doesn't fit but it's the same piece I mean uh, they made the pieces really a little bit more similar here but you see that in the line <laughs> that's funny I think that's good made and I think that's how Ravensburger do the parcel, so you don't can get two with the same shape pattern, yes, but not the same piece. You can't swap it with versa. They really are unique puzzles. I was sure. I was missing a piece course. I knew I have a piece in my hand when I'm cleaning up my, my library. <laughs> or what's a call my library and that I have found a piece of this puzzle <laughs> and I didn't have taken it in the in the in the lost lost piece box. I don't know why I don't but I found it I found it in the in the <laughs> uh, recording supply stuff where I have tape and and scissors and what I needed to break up and here it is and <laughs> I was so obsessed. I was so upset. Of course, I don't want to have a missing piece for this puzzle. I was so... <sighs> the whole day, I was so... No, no, please, no. <laughs> and it's there. <laughs> it's there. I've searched after it. It's there. Whew. And then I've been thinking, I don't have taken out the... Let me do that one and I want to see if they have the same cut pattern or the same... No, no, that's that's only with the older one. They have chosen one, the, the whole patterns from the... from the form, the shape. The shape is the same. But not the prongs and uh, not the in and the outs are the same, but the, the shapes are the same. But here it's totally different. Um, that's also a new puzzle. That's one with blue cardboard and that's a green. That's made in France. Both puzzles are made in France. And this is, is, is made in Germany. And yeah, that's a little bit bigger, I think. I don't know if the length part here... I wanna line it up here perfectly. <laughs> so, uh, when I line it up uh, and the downer front perfectly, it's a little bit 
overleaning. You see it a little, little bit, but it's a little bit long. <laughs> yeah. And I really want to know if they have interchangeable um, things or the same cut, but it was nice recognition that they have uh, made of the same layout, but cut it a little bit. The cut device must be changes a little bit so that the prongs, the in and the outs were a little bit off. It, it was funny to, to see that there were similars and, and changes. It was really a funny thing and always like to compare one to each other but so i think that's the sum up of everything that's the part three now end and uh i have now all my two thousand piece puzzles all my three two thousand piece puzzle puzzled and the little series ended here maybe uh when you wish I can make a series about um, other things where I make only solely um, puzzle videos and give you a little bit of how I've done it or a little bit of in and out and maybe a comparison between the, the puzzles that I did so that we can do with this with this shape puzzle maybe with this random cuts I could do cobalt hill and the real graphic and compare with each other that's Maybe uh, also a nice series. Yeah. But <laughs> here we got to the end of the video series. I hope you have enjoyed this little three series with this uh, chaos puzzling with this little, uh, little, with this bigger 2000 piece puzzle on the bigger table. Of course, then it's everything in and you can see everything. And I really have enjoyed the series although i'm when i'm again i was not sure if i want to do all three two dozen piece puzzle of course there uh, it would last a little bit longer because uh, two thousand pieces are two thousand pieces and not one thousand piece or five hundred pieces so uh, the whole process would last longer but it was really a, a thing of oh now i have time now I dump all the pieces out and now I see all through the pieces and I could do puzzling here and there were an hour and it was really... Uh, uh, I'm now having um, three or four days off of puzzling and I really think, oh, I want to do a puzzle. <laughs> so, uh, I have puzzles. Uh, puzzle! <laughs> I, I do other things also, <laughs> so I have now a little bit of a crochet in my <laughs> sofa and doing a little of this nice um, lace uh, crocheting <laughs> while I'm sitting on the sofa and not doing puzzle, but I also puzzle on my sofa because <laughs> that's really a stupid thing when, when you recognize that you can do puzzles on a foam board you do puzzle on a foam board. I never thought I could do this, but now I have. And now I have to sing. And now I'm there. I, I thrown up the pieces and dig on the foam board. And also my little piece puzzles. So I can do in the evening for half an hour. It's also a. Uh, I have so much more puzzle time till I have. Uh, since I have the foam boards. <laughs> so. But I think it, here here ends my talking, here ends my video series. I hope you have enjoyed all three of them and wish you a happy day, evening, night, midday, um, whenever and wherever you watch the video. And I hope we see each other in the next. So bye and happy hobby allerseits. <laughs>